I got something. I literally there. went to the ATM this morning. That's oh, why where? I was like. That's oh, why you were late? Yeah. <laughs> And then I went back to my house. Had to get something? Yeah. A sit down breakfast? <laughs> I went back because, like, my fucking hash browns were ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Alright, we just got to the river. Gear rundown really quick. Throwing a Pureway Renegade. 8 weight, 11.6 with Jury French. We've got the Cascopedia on there, size 8.9. And then uh, we've got a 400 grain OPST groove. And then I've got a big like night crawler intruder on, tube fly, T11. Connor's in front fishing uh, something. We'll catch up with him in a second. Connor just hooked up on an intruder, and it's a trout. So how was that trout? Good time. Hit that big red intruder. A piece of horse meat. Yeah, what are you fishing? All the guys are gonna wanna know. The guys wanna know I'm fishing what I call horse meat. So I think this is an underestimated technique. We have a really fast head right here with some deep water on the outside and it shallows up as it comes in here and slows down. I think a fish could sit right on the seam where it's deep in that bucket catching a little current break. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let out line as if I were casting way into the bushes over there, but I'm gonna stop my cast. So single spay, roll cast essentially, plop it down and then drop all of that line. So you actually get a longer, deeper swing even though I don't have room to cast long. So what do you what do you use and give me a quick gear breakdown? Gear breakdown is I'm throwing the horse meat truder. Well show me the rod, what tip, what head, what reel. I'm using this igniter again. It's basically an 8120. It's 81190. Um I like this thing. You know, we got the commando on it today. What grain? 400 grain. Really uh I like it more than the power for this short, you know, small. What reel like is this. that? It's a Spaco reel. Do you know what model? I think they do it by ounces or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the second hand Spaco. Okay. So Connor's way down there fishing the next head. We actually split up and I'm taking the tail out of this run. This one happens to be about three to four feet deep all the way across, probably five feet deep in the middle. So it's a really good spot for fish that just moved up to stop for a second, pause. So the way that I would approach this is just, you know, start well above where you ultimately want to swing down into and then finish in the fast water. Because fish will sit with their fins literally right at the top of that white water. Um, there'll be a break in the current so you can catch them swinging way down in there. I'm gonna run down into that riffle, just be prepared. You see, more high. That's in the bushes. Oh, nice. You do a little pullback. Second mend, half mend. Now I'm letting that thing soak. And that's where you're gonna get ripped, huh? Yeah, right here, right here, the wheel's gonna start going. Right about now. Dude, what do you think about shooting all the way to the low bridge? We've never done it, but today's the day to do it. Extend our float. <laughs> Extend. <laughs> you got some gas station pills and say, look, we found a, the jackpot. <laughs> 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 oh, some fucking gas station pills. <laughs> oh, God. I think you're going to find success here today. Right here. I think that, I'm thinking I'm going to find that we showed up yet again a day late in a dollar short. <laughs> I like to make sure I cover the whole thing, so I'm gonna throw it way on the other bank. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna get that one off. So Paul kept talking about how it's such a juicy run, so I went ahead and hit him up with an honest kid's juice. <laughs> yeah, 100% organic. 
super fruit gear. You know, I have a hard time making it through a run without pretty much the only thing that quenches my thirst is Honest Kids. Um, Honest Kids Organic. Honest super Kids or juice. Organic Apple flavored super fruit juice. <laughs> so you can see you can actually snap tea with it just fine. I found over the years that, and usually if you do one of these. For the homies? No, for the steelhead. Yeah. I mean, it's a great day out. The weather was good. Water was dropping, clearing. I saw a bunch of steelhead floated over them. So, just a matter of time. 